Oh, come on. Focus the dumb camera. Been doing so good <clears throat> with the cameras being in focus. Here we go. This this isn't the, the most important night, so that'll just remind me on uh, position night. We'll, we'll be playing these guys. I think we're uh, so far ahead of the rest of the league. That either way, they're not going to drop into third, and we're not going to drop into third, so we'll see them at the end. So this is Tarts and Bobby C on the right hand side, and we got John and uh, Rick on the left hand side. At least the uh, at least the camera worked. So we got. Uh, there we go. That's better. <clears throat> Starting off, starting off on the right foot there. So far, Bobby C has uh, cooled down a little bit. And Rick's got one leaner on the back. Take one because we're probably probably still uh, still leaning on it, just a little lower. <laughs> oh, that that hurt! I can see that one on the concrete. Either that's a lot of dirt, or that's the shoe on the concrete. Maybe it's a lot of dirt, because I think Rick would have picked it off the concrete already. Alright, don't lose the momentum. Uh-oh. <laughs> He's leaning them up. Better than getting none, I guess. Keeps Bobby C going first. He's got the hammer. Yeah, Rick saw that one coming in. There 
go. There's Turts. There's Turts coming in there. That's a ringer. Oh. oh. Wow. <clears throat> so I'm I'm thinking they got uh, they didn't ring the bell, so I'm thinking they just got one on that one. Top ringer one. And six for John on that one. <laughs> so I think we're uh, I think the score is current I did not hear uh, a no leader from Bobby C All right, Bobby C. Pit, pit two's done. And you're staring at a couple decent shoes here. I just have I just have an issue with the uh, that one thing. I don't know if it's a one or a three, so we'll figure it out. Hopefully, it's not a tight game. And at the end, my uh, shoe counts wrong. So this is time to uh, climb back into it here. Rick can get a nice ringer here. Or not. Nothing. One they go. Come on, Rick and Bobby C. They got uh, the only the only forty footer they got tonight is Casey, and they're not playing him every game. So, <clears throat> like right now, we're uh, besides Lexi being in, we're all forty feet playing thirty footers. So that's reeling them back in, tighten up that lead that they have. That lets Rick go first. <clears throat> right. Bring that Woo! See, the, the thing is, John isn't affected by shoes on the stake. Not as much as a 40-footer. His shoe comes in nice and light.
Oh, it was very effective there. And there's Rick. And there is Rick Weasling. Oh, you don't see that much. I hit the stake. Didn't even land on the concrete. That's off in the good grass. Uh-oh. <laughs> this could be bad. This could, they could uh, get a nice, nice comfortable lead here. But they don't. They only take two. Let's see if they call a tie. Let's see if they call us call the score here. And the score is correct. We are with that no leader. <clears throat> we are 14-14. So that's sort of good knowing that at the end uh if it does keep going like this that the score is correct. <laughs> that's the point the nice thing about it is John it isn't anywhere around the stake really yep one good thing that Rick did is he put uh, Bobby C into the kill zone. <clears throat> so that's something we can work with and keep them out of the kill zone. Don't want them winning it on a, on a six-pack, but we, we do. We want to win it on a six-pack. Oh, boy. Bobby C has really cooled off. That game two was uh, a pretty amazing win. Three they go. So now they're in the kill zone, so now we're uh, vulnerable. At any point in time, two shoes can win. On either side. And this is where I don't like it. I like I like keeping them in at like 14 or below. Oh boy. Here we go. So that's their four. They they have the game cinched up right there. It all depends on what Rick what Rick does here. He's waiting to make sure that he has full concentration here. Very nice right here. <clears throat> oh. <laughs> nice. <clears throat> so 16 is the same as 15 in my book. They're interchangeable because uh, from 15 you need a six pack to win and from 16 you need a six pack to win. I like, I like 15, 17, and 18. Those are sort of like magic numbers for us.
No top ringer, nobody. <clears throat> Still sitting at 16. All right, Rick, now's your chance here. Uh-oh, it's back to uh, having the game in his back pocket right there. That's not even the point. He didn't, didn't even cover the point, so this has to be at least covering a point. And he covered the ringer when they go. Sitting at that dreaded 16 still. But we're in the kill zone and they're deep in the kill zone. So we'll see what happens here. So this is, uh, this, these are big shoes from Bobby C right here. Bobby C is going to wait, make sure the, uh, the pit's cleared on pit two, so he's not worrying about anything over there. <laughs> we won't, uh, we won't let any, uh, how they're doing over there on game eight slip so don't pay attention over there <clears throat> there come on bobby see oh yep Call Bobby C. Uh, weaseling. Oh my God. Oh no. Oh, Rick. Rick, 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 Rick. Oh, we got lucky on that one. We're not going to get so lucky again. Wow. We got ourselves a nail biter here. Cardi going first. Yeah, Bob's Bob Sandy should have been out of this game by now. <clears throat> oh, that spun off the back. So just two points sitting there. That is the win. So if Bobby C has. Tarts is like, what the? Guys, darn it. So we just need one from Bob, one ringer, and uh, then we, we're we out of here. And that's it, I think. That looked and sounded good. Six. <laughs> A nice, nice clinch six pack at the end there for uh, a definitive uh, win. 
And that'll put us to five and two. So really happy about that. Got some bad losses in the middle there, but uh, that's because they shot really well. So we just got to keep going here. Come on, Cardi. Get down there. Don't weasel the, the top inch and a half. <laughs> got to really, really get down there and get all uh, all five five inches of that material uh, moved around. Tink. Tink, 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 tink. He's not even putting any effort into it. Come on. He is doing it correct. He's doing just the uh, the four square feet right there. But, uh, yeah, we, we go down and we dig down into those suckers and, and get everything, or everything loosened up. Anyways, we will see you in game eight. Thanks for watching this one.